Hi guys, I'm Cassandra and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be trying out the two-step freckle medium. If you want to learn how to use the one-step freckle medium, then I have already made a video on that, which I'll link in the description box so you can check that out if you are interested. And if you want a detailed video explaining the difference between one-step and two-step freckle medium, then let me know in the comment section. I will definitely film a video on that if you are interested. So yeah, Zala from Farah Studio has sent me this really, really, really beautiful prints. Their store has a really beautiful collection of papers, ranging from packing papers, letter writing pages with and without lines. Pressed flower papers, etc. These pressed flower papers are so beautiful. If you are planning on to have a gallery wall in your house, you can definitely purchase this print. I leave their store details in my description box. I personally love these floral prints, which I'll be using in today's video. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. For today's project, I'll be using these MDF posters that I got from Itsy Bitsy Craft Store. So usually when we do decoupage using napkin, we prime the surface using gesso or white paint because the napkins are transparent. But since I'll be using pattern paper today, I can skip that step since the pattern paper is opaque. So firstly, I'll just cut out the pattern paper in the shape of the coaster. Next, I'll adhere the pattern paper onto the coaster using my decoupage glue. Next, I will apply another layer of decoupage glue onto the paper. This layer is applied to protect the paper from any damage like the color change that happens over time. So yeah, once it's dried up, I'll apply the base coat of the crackle medium. So if you have noticed, unlike the one step, the two step crackle medium comes in two bottles. One is the base coat and the other is the top coat. So once I'm done applying the base coat, I let it dry and once it's dried, I'm applying the top coat. Once I've applied the top coat, again I will leave it aside to dry. And once that's dried, the cracks have already appeared. But you can't really see them because they are transparent. So to make these cracks visible, I am using this product called as metallic wax. This is a copper color metallic wax. So I will just apply it onto the poster with my fingers. So this is how it looks like. Next I will use the pearl metallic copper color from Fabricril and I'll paint the borders. And then I'll paint the other side of the poster with this light pink chalk paint which is in the shade French Rose. And here is another coaster which I have already made. Today's video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video bye